Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to take a look and see how the graph changes from left to right. In other words, it's shifted to the left or the right when there's something inside the quantity that's squared, like in the case of a second order equation, a parabola. In the case we have a radical sign, so when we have the variable x and then we subtract, add a number to it, it ends up shifting the equation to the left or the right, or the, at least the graph of the equation from left to right. So what happens is here we have y equals x squared, a simple parabola. The vertex is right here at the origin, but now we write y equals the quantity x minus 2 quantity squared, and that means that the parabola is going to be shifted. If it's a minus here, it's going to be shifted to the right. If it's a plus, it's going to be shifted to the left. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but that's what happens. If you want to check that, you can go ahead and try some values and see what happens. So at least this means that it's going to be shifted to the right two units. So we go 1, 2. And then the parabola will then be centered about this point right here. That's where the new vertex is going to be. And if you want to quickly check that, let's plug in a value for x equals 2. So when you let x equals 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 squared is 0, so y equals 0. That means it's at the right place, so it does work. Now, what happens when you write x plus 3? Well, that means it's going to be shifted to the left, 3 units. So we have 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And so the problem now is going to look like this. It's going to be shifted to the left, 3 units. Again, you can check if x equals negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 0 squared is 0. y will be 0 at that point. So it does seem to work. Same thing over here. Here we have the graph y equals the square root of x. If we now write y equals the square root of x minus 2, it will shift the whole graph to the right, 2 units. So 1, 2. And that means that the graph will now look like this. And if we write y equals the square root of x plus 3, that means it's going to be shifted to the left, 3 units. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Like that. And then the graph will look like this. And again, you can check the graph. Let's say you plug in the value x equals negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Y will be equal to the square root of 0, which is 0. And that's exactly what it is over there. So again, you can check and see that it works. So simply, when we write inside the quantity, minus 2, it's shifted to the right. Plus 3, like over there, it's shifted to the left. And that's how that works.